Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Curator's Corner here at the National Civil War Naval Museum. I'm historian and curator Jeff Seymour and look at this great set that we are coming to you from. This is a recreation of the USS Monitor and of course the Monitor is one of those great stories of the American Civil War. It's the story of advancing technology, the rotating turret and all those other inventions that go along with that particular ship. In fact, there were more than 40 patentable inventions other than the turret itself. So the Battle of Hampton Roads and this ship are game-changing when it comes to naval warfare. And how many things today have a turret on it? That things just turn around and around and around. Well, other than getting a little silly, this is actually very important to our story. It's also a good time for reflection because this year, coming out of the plague in 2022, is an important marker for a number of different reasons with the Monitor. It's the 160th anniversary of the Battle at Hampton Roads. Remember March 8th and 9th. Most people tend to forget about the March 8th part about it. They only focus about the actual fight between ironclads, between the Monitor and the Virginia, when they fought for four and a half hours. But many people forget about March the 8th. The Virginia came out of the Gosport Naval Yard and proceeded to take down two of those old wooden warships. This is really what's changing naval warfare. An ironclad, steam-powered warship going against wooden sailing vessels. Game-changing. In fact, to put this into perspective, this is the worst defeat of the United States Navy until December 7, 1941. That's how big March the 8th was. But the Monitor showed up that night. And the next morning, those two ships went at each other for four and a half hours and couldn't disable the other. And within that 24-hour time span, naval warfare changed forever. So, 160 years, there's no crazy way to say that in Latin, oh, like sesquicentennial, 150th anniversary. That's okay. It's all right. We'll come up with something. We'll figure it out. 160 years, but 2022 is really important because in 1972, yes, 50th anniversary of the naming of the Monitor's wreck site as a cultural heritage site by NOAA. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric, uh, those people that take care of weather and things by the government. NOAA, which was established in 1970, designates its first wreck site as a cultural heritage site for protection. The USS Monitor site, 1972, 50 years. All right, all right, so, so we got the anniversary, 160th anniversary of the battle, and now we've got the 50th anniversary of the designation of the monitor wreck site as an important site to be preserved, protected, and so forth. Great stuff. Oh, let's add to the mix now. It's also an important anniversary because it's the 20th anniversary of the raising of the turret. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 20 years ago in August of 2002, the turret of the monitor was raised from 240 feet off of the ocean floor. Now, as a little bit of a reminder, the monitor sank in late December of 1862 in the middle, middle of a storm off of the North Carolina coast. And the wreck had been lost to us for a long time. Well, after its discovery, we, we lead to NOAA designating that site for cultural heritage protection. Well, in 2002, the technology, oh, that's crazy, isn't it? The Battle of Hampton Roads, the Monitor itself is such a technological game changer, but in 2002, the technology became good enough for us to bring this complicated piece of machinery from 240 feet off of the ocean floor. 
That's just crazy. Look how far we've come in that 160 years. So this is 160th anniversary of Battle of Hinton Roads, 50th anniversary of the naming of the Noah site, and the 20th anniversary of the raising of the turret. And if you want to see the real turret, it's at the Mariner's Museum in Virginia. They've got a great facility there. Not as good as ours. I'm a little biased in that, in that regards, but go see the turret. It's well worth the trip. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for viewing this edition of Curator's Corner. And remember to hit that like button below and make sure you catch us on all of our media platforms and come see us. Check out our website at www.portcolumbus.org. Or you know what, please come here and see those stories you'll hear nowhere else.